going on YouTube? Welcome back to the channel, 504 Man Fragrance Reviews, coming back at you with another video. I'm going to do a comparison video again today. Uh, I received a sample from Alt Fragrances. They reached out and asked me if I'd be willing to uh, test and review uh, some of their products. I said, absolutely, send them in. Uh, but I'm going to give a 100% honest review. They didn't pay me to do this. So what we're going to talk about is one of my favorites from the line of Creed, which is Green Irish Tweed. And Alt's version, which is called Mohair. So let's get into it. Um, I had a chance to try this overnight, so I'll be able to tell you a little bit about the projection and longevity of it. But let's go over the notes first. Uh, in the Alt version, uh, you're looking at lemon, uh, actually, lemon, peppermint, violet, leaf, iris, sandalwood, and ambergris. And in the Green Irish Tweed from Creed, you're looking at lemon, verbena, peppermint, violet, iris, sandalwood, and ambergris. So the only difference between the two notes is the verbena. And the, um, between the Creed has verbena and the alt notes say that they don't. So what do I get out of this? Alt did a really good job with this one, folks. Um, Green Irish Tweed is probably one of my favorites from the House of Creed. Um... It'll be forever in my, in my collection. Um, it's a very green, fresh cut grass, almost pulls off a cool water type vibe of those that know Green Irish Tweed and have, have been around it for a while. Um, they know that it's, it's got comparisons to somewhat of a uh, Davidoff cool water. Um, it's beautiful fragrance. Alt's pretty spot on. Um, they don't list a Verbana in this. They... I don't, but I smell it. I don't get the, I don't really get the peppermint out of this, but it's, it's, it's really close folks. It is a very good inspiration. And I'm going to tell you where Alt wins over the Creed is to me in the longevity. Um, I was able to smell this the next morning on my clothes when I woke up. The projection on this is very good. I mean, the projection on this one is, is really good as well. But I just think the, I just think the, whatever ingredients that Alt was able to put into this, they really, I think they really hit a home run with this one, folks. Um, it's fairly inexpensive. Uh, for, for, for an 18 mil like this, uh, you, you're looking at maybe 20 bucks. For 30 mil, you're looking at maybe $35 on their website. Uh, I'm sorry, this is actually a 13 ml um, for 20 bucks. You know, if, if you're in the market to try Green Irish Tweed and um, you just really can't afford to get a bottle of it, in my honest opinion, I, I, don't, I don't think you can go wrong with this one, folks. I mean, I, this one, this one I couldn't wait to try because of Green Irish Tweed being my absolute favorite from the house, of, of, from a line of Creed. And I'm, I'm thoroughly surprised at this, folks. It's, it's close. I'd say it's, it's probably 95% accurate. That's close. Uh, you know, with, with a clone house, folks, you know you're not going to get 100%. Um, but anything for me in a clone house, 90 and above, th that's, that's a good ticket item for me. So listen, you know, let me know down in the comments below if you've tried Mohair by Alt, their inspiration of Creed's Green Irish Tweed. Let me know what you think of it. Let me know if, if my, my review is accurate and what are your opinions on your thoughts. Do me a favor, hit the red button down below, subscribe to the channel. It'll really mean a lot to me. Give me a like on the video. Head on over to my Facebook group page, 504 Man Reviews Fragrance Talk. Join that group. Have a lot of good time over there. Post your scent of the day. Post your scent of the night. Let's talk about fragrances on there. Follow me over on Instagram, 504 Man Reviews. And like I always say, folks, Keep smelling good, and I'll see you when I see you. Peace.